So let's take a look at this thing of rates and ratios. Now, typically how we define these. Well, let's take a step back. Let's look at fractions. So a fraction This is a part over a whole. So like if we're talking about pizzas, say we have a pizza and all the other slices have been eaten except one, we have part of the pizza, one slice out of the whole or total of four. So this is what a fraction is. Now, a ratio is kind of like a fraction. It's where a fraction requires something being a part of something else. A ratio is really comparing two quantities of the same kind of objects or sub sort of subcategories. So for a ratio, suppose we have this. Let's say we have basketball games. And let's say in a season of basketball, the wins equals say, third, uh, say 11, 11 wins. And the losses would be say seven. Say we have seven losses. So what we might say is this, the ratio of wins to losses Well, we would write this as 11 over 7. So what a ratio does, it takes the same quantity, basketball games. So this is the main quantity. And we have these two subgroups of basketball games, wins and losses. And so we compare those. So we could write this as 11 over 7. Or you'll see it written as 11 in seven, or it'll be written as 11 to seven. So in essence, we're comparing two sub subcategories of the same type of objects. Or two groups or subgroups. We're going to compare two subgroups of the same types of objects. So we would say like group one over group two. And then we can rewrite this as group one whole in group two or group one two. But these two groups, these two subgroups, I should say, they're part, they're members of a bigger group. So like for basketball games, we have wins of basketball games, losses of basketball games. Won basketball games, lost basketball games, those are all basketball games. We just took basketball games and divided them into two subgroups and compared the subgroups. Uh, same thing, say, with cars. You know, the group overall is cars, and then the subgroup might be red cars, and then another subgroup could be blue cars, and we compare red cars over blue cars. The last thing we're going to talk about are rates.
And what we compare with rates is group A, say group B. And these are not subgroups. These are entirely different things. So a common rate that we see would be miles over hours. Distance and time. Another one, miles and gallons of gasoline. Miles and gallons of gasoline. Uh, we've we'll run into this one. You could say dollars per pound. So these are all rates. They compare completely different things. Distance and time. Here's distance and gallons of petroleum. Here's money and here's pounds of something. Maybe say, uh, I don't know, maybe pounds of say pistachio, something like that. So with rates, we just have some group, some number of a group compared to another group. So that's really the difference between these. Fractions are part over whole. Ratios is within a group, we divide it in the subgroups and compare the subgroups. So basketball games where you won, basketball games where you lost. And then with rates, we compare completely different things like, say, time, like distance and time. So that's the introduction to these. And we'll start doing some examples. Any questions, let me know.